Hello, hello, Matt Francesini here, and today I want to share an exercise with you that's going to get you playing arpeggios fluidly and smoothly up the neck. Um, this stemmed from when I was in university, I found that I kept getting caught in boxes. I learned all of my arpeggios, but I couldn't shift comfortably between positions. And so I found myself locked in these four fret blocks. And I also find that a lot of my students have the same trouble. So I thought I'd share this exercise with you today. And without further ado, let me explain the exercise. So essentially what we do is we chain together all five positions of the major seven arpeggio. And again, this could work on any arpeggio. You can do it with triads, you can do it with minor sevens. I'm just using G major seven as my example today so that this video isn't an hour long. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain the arpeggios together by moving up the two E strings. So we go up one position, and then we'll play down the next position, and then we'll play up one position, then down one position, and then when we get to the last position, we're gonna go all the way up, and then all the way down in that position, and that will have us flipped. So then all of the arpeggios that we played going ascending, we will now play descending, and vice versa. And if that sounded like a lot of nonsense, just please bear with me, and I'll show it to you practically right now. So, our first position of G major 7 looks like this. Now here I want to jump up the high E string to the second position and the highest note on that string, which is going to be the note B, ironically. We're going to be here, we're going to play down position 2. Now I'm going to slide up to the next note of the arpeggio, which is going to be D on the 10th fret of the E string, and that is in my 3rd position. Now here, I could play this note with my pinky, and that's what I would do if I was playing these in boxes. But because we're trying to connect all the way up the neck, I'm going to go up the arpeggio like this. And I'm going to get my middle finger on that 10th fret, so that I can come down in position 4. Now here, I need to get to the next arpeggio note, so I'm going to jump up to F sharp with my ring finger on the 14th fret, and then I'm going to play my 5th position major 7 arpeggio. And now here, because I've gone from position 1 to position 5, now I need to play position 5 descending. Now when I get down here to position 4, I played this one descending the first time, and now I'm playing it ascending. Now here, going back to position 3, I kick my pointer finger back here. Now here, I want to slide my pinky down to the note, next note in the arpeggio, down here in position 2. And then here I need to kick my middle finger back to my 3rd fret to play down position 1. So. All of that put together, I'll try to do it slowly. Um, it's really awkward at first, and you might have to deal with some fingering stuff, so no worries if you can't play along with me yet, but I'm gonna give you a shot just so you can hear what this sounds like when you're fluidly moving between and connecting all five positions. So that was G major connected, all five positions, and I played each position ascending and descending. But the biggest thing here is you're channeling in these fluid connections between them. And this hopefully will help you, uh, I mean, first of all, it's a really good exercise that's difficult and you have to practice it a bit, but it'll also hopefully help you get into the habit of being able to fluidly blend between these and not find yourself stuck just in say, position one, and then what do I do from here? I go back down. Here, it starts getting you moving horizontally across the neck, which I find is a huge barrier in getting really, really comfortable with these arpeggios. Now say that you want to practice this in a different key, uh, you're going to need to move your fingerings around a little bit. So for example, if I wanted to do this in the key of F, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the lowest F I can play on the guitar. It's going to be my first fret, and that looks an awful lot like I'd be playing position one, but we don't want to do position one 
because then I'm going to end up playing an open string. And we don't want to practice open strings when we're practicing scales and arpeggios because that'll teach you a totally different fingering. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to start on this F on the D string, which is position two. And position two, I'm going to go from position two, which means my last position up here will be position one that I'll play all the way up and down. So it doesn't matter what order you play these in if you're in a different key. They will still flow two, three, four, five, one, or four, five, one, two, three. So to give you an example of what that looks like, this is what it would look like in the key of F. So that's pretty much it. It's a really, really great exercise that you can do with any arpeggio, uh, minor seven, half diminished, all that good stuff. And it gets you moving really fluidly around the neck and connecting what you already know together in a fluid way, which I find is really useful because again, I came up with this exercise when I was finding myself super stuck in these positions. And this gives you a fluid way to break out of it, kind of like when we were first playing our minor pentatonic scale and realized we could do this. and have that smooth little transition between them. So, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every Monday and uh, free diagrams for this are available on my website. And if you wanna have some guitar lessons with me or a guitar lesson with me, something that's been troubling you, I'd love to meet you, I'd love to work with you on it. You can find the information for that down in the description. If you have any recommendations for videos or something that you'd like to see covered on the channel, I would love to take some, you know, crowd recommendations. And other than that, I hope you guys get a chance to play some guitar and have some fun with it. So yeah, have a good one.